Today we've got a comparison of utility irons in 2021, the TaylorMade P790, UDI, and the Titleist U505. Tell me let's some shots. We'll look at the data and we'll compare them all together and tell you everything you need to know. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahola, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today we are comparing utility irons, new in 2021. I've got the TaylorMade P790 UDI. We've got the Titleist 505. They're, they're pretty different golf clubs, but it's, it's interesting because they both fall in the utility iron category, Thomas. But by looking at them, they look very, very different. Yeah, you're holding the UDI. The UDI is definitely a little bit sleeker iron. Yes. And then I'm holding the U505, and this is a little bit larger iron. Now these were both released later in uh, 2021, mm -hmm. so summer releases. Yes, there are other models that could possibly compare in a, for each manufacturer. For example, TaylorMade P790 versus you know, maybe the new T200 iron yeah. would be something, or maybe like the U500 um, would be yeah. another one you would kind of throw in the, throw in the mix there as well. And then the, and then the same thing with the the Sim DHY. Yeah or UDI, mm -hmm. um, and then you also have uh, the U505. So they could maybe a little bit more comparable, but these are the newest clubs out yep. for these, each manufacturer. And we're gonna compare the differences between them and explain what the differences really will be. Yeah, I know, I mean, I'm just looking, so the, the P790 UDI has 17 degrees of loft, and it's, I believe it's only available, available as a two iron. Um, now there are different lofts available with the U5, 05, but we do have the 18 degree model today, which is a two iron. So they're yep. both two irons, 18 degrees for the Titleist U505, 17 for the P790 UDI. So um, let's get into like, you know, it looks like we have the same, the same stock shaft here, Thomas? Yep, we have the Hazardous RDX Smoke 6.0 golf shaft in both of them here, both their standard length. Um, the biggest difference I'm probably gonna see maybe ball flight. Mm -hmm. The U505, if you put it down, you can look and see the center of gravity is pushed back a little bit. Yep. Well, with the P790 UDI, there's really not that much pushback. It's just a nice right. looking blade iron. Yeah, I know. You've got a speed foam air technology allowed P790, the, the newest 2021 version to be a little bit thinner than the previous ones. You can definitely see it here with the two iron. U505, of course, that thing's built to be as forgiving and high launching as a utility iron can really be. So we'll probably see some numbers that are different on TrackMan, but I'm excited to watch you hit them, Thomas. Well, let's do it. Also, oh, Thomas hitting off the tee here with uh, U505. Yeah, I don't really hit a two iron too often off the ground. With a club that's got a little bit more center of gravity, say the U505, you can probably get away with a little bit more off the ground. Yeah. You definitely need some speed to get some spin on the ball yeah. to get the ball up in the air. But well, I know, you know, that for you, I know, and I think most players too, that if you use a utility iron, most of the time you're going to use it off the tee, trying to hit that uh, fairway finder, so to speak, that kind of keeps the ball low and controllable versus. Uh, the other shot would be kind of trying to get a long green in two, um, whether that's a long par four or par five. Um, but I think most instances where these clubs are used is probably off the tee. Right. Well, let's test them and see what happens. Just a little left. Felt like I hit it pretty solid though. So what are you looking for? I know you have a kind of a utility iron in your bag. What are you looking for distance wise here? It's usually around about a 250 shot for me when I'm hitting okay. a, a, a driving iron. Now I have a three driving iron in my bag, okay. so it goes so just a little bit shorter. So you should expect to maybe a little bit more distance. A little less spin, a little bit more rollout okay. with the two. A little higher flight, face mm -hmm. was just a little more open than the shot before. So what are you thinking? Yep, this is the U505 again. Um, the sound, and the feel after two shots now. Um, what do you think about that? It's it's fairly loud uh, off the face. Yeah, I feel like that. I feel like I hit them both pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Definitely fairly, fairly loud um, in the middle of the club face. That yeah. is always nice. That's always but good. Yeah. yeah, just just loud, crisp, um, powerful, powerful. Almost, yeah. Right. That's yeah. a, that's a good word. Yeah. yeah. That was a little straighter. And one left, one right, and one little straighter. Mm -hmm. What kind of numbers are we looking at so far? Well, through three, let's see here. 
You are your club speed is 99.3, spin on average about 3,000, carry 244, total 262. Pretty good. So I mean that's yeah that's those are all pretty good numbers. That was it pretty good too. That one is smoked yeah. That almost flew into the net with a driving iron. I mean, yeah, it was the ball speed on that was 149.3. So that so is... Pretty good smash factor. Yeah, yeah. And the club speed of 100.4. is. I mean, your smash factor is 149 on that one. So getting some good explosiveness off that club face. I will say, for how large the club head looked originally looking down at the two of them, knowing that the 790 is a little bit smaller. Yeah. I got all of that larger look really quick with how forgiving it was. Yeah? Yeah, I feel like I've hit this pretty good. And uh, as you should note too, the, so I know one thing you were, you were wanting to watch for today was ball flight, um, particularly because of how different the clubs are constructed. Averaging 109 feet um, of peak height right now with the U505. That's really so, high for two iron. So that's 18 degrees aloft on that too. Yep. Um, I'm curious to see how that changes here. I think we'll hit one more maybe with this one and then uh, can go and jump over to P790 here. All right. That was just a little lower on the face there. Okay. That one might spin just a li little bit more than the sh other shots. Okay, interesting. Yep, oh yeah, ooh, yeah. That thing, uh, the spin jumped up to over 4,000 on that one. Yep. So the total on that one was 239. Got it, yeah, but, that was, a, and then the that was about, about one to two grooves lower. On the face. Okay, but interesting. So, so uh, 239? Mm -hmm. Was that yep. carry or is that total? That was total. Okay, 239 total. total. Okay. So, yep. interesting that, I mean, that's showing the um, impact and that we, you see that all the time with driver, right? You hit the ball low on the face. Those shots where you maybe hit the ball off the tee and the tee doesn't move, like it's almost the tee wasn't even interacted with the club. Yep. Usually low on the face, that ball is going to spin more and not going to go as far. So, that's, it's true with utility iron, it's true with driver. So, that's just a, another indication for golfers maybe don't know that. Um, that's right. I know I notice that all the time on the golf course now that I've seen it with the trackman numbers. But yeah, for sure I'd consider that last shot a, a miss hit, but it just showcases the difference. Probably about a thousand RPMs more spin if yeah. you catch a little low on the face. Uh, yep, absolutely. So U505 takeaways. We noticed the explosiveness off the club face. Your ball speed was tremendous. Uh, I mean, 147.6 miles per hour on average with a two iron. That's pretty. It's pretty hot. Uh, and then you know, loud, kind of, not like abrasive sound, but explosive and powerful sound. Right, yeah, forgiving, very, very forgiving. Even the one I didn't quite catch went nice and straight, which is important. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yep. Okay, P790. It's a little left. Eh. Oh my God. Oh. You hit solid though, didn't you? I hit it fairly solid. Oh yeah. I think that's your farthest total of the day. That would have rolled a long way. That was a little bit heavy. I feel like it's still going though. That thing was carrying through I'm the wind. I'm curious to see how, that, how far that rolls. That was carrying through the wind. Yeah, so, uh, yep, 259.6 on the total distance there. 238.5 carry. Both of those shots were under 3,000 spin. Yeah. Didn't quite catch that one perfect. What's the one leave the face a little bit open on? I feel like, I mean, what do you think about sound? I kind of have it, uh, my own thought, but I'd like to get your, your feedback on that first. I think this seems a little quieter. Okay. Just a little bit quieter. It's, it's still solid off the face, yeah. but it just, it feels like it's just a little bit quieter. So my, my thought, I think they're actually, they're more similar, I think, than I thought they would be going in based on okay. how different the look is. I guess that's what my takeaway was. Mm. Oh yeah. Seeing a little bit more curvature work in with this club, I think. Yeah, that one I, I didn't catch perfect either. I'm curious because I feel like I haven't hit this club as solid as I may have hit the, uh, the 505. But it looks like the spin's mm -hmm. staying down even though I'm not catching it solid. It is, yeah. You're still spinning it lower even though your smash factor is a little bit lower too. So. Yeah. See if I can find the middle of the face on these last two swings. Get a little closer. 
Mm -hmm. It's interesting because it, almost with all with these clubs, I think both of them, it seems like it's you you hit the ball and it it's it looks like a ball flight that one of those risers, right, where it kind of has all that spin and it just floats into the air. Yep. But then you keep watching it just it starts just keeps going. It just keeps yep. going on that same kind of trajectory almost. Yeah, this club shouldn't spin too much. Oh yeah. Last two were a little bit more solid there. So, give me first. Uh, you know, you you've hit both. You've seen both. Takeaways on that look and feel piece that we always try to hammer in. Right. I think you're right. I think the sound, even though they're, you know, quite different in, in shape, that sound is pretty close. I would give the P790 just a little. It was just a little bit quieter. Okay. Uh, U505 just a, just a little bit louder. And I think it might be just the fact that there's not as this this profile is smaller, and right. this profile is a little little bit larger. So I'm, yeah, I yeah. might and just be expecting it to maybe I mean, louder. In, but I think it, I think that's just natural. Uh, it's for a larger club to just make more noise, and just the way the construction of the materials is, it's going to be louder with you know more of a hollow space in between, right? Yep. So that's going to happen. Um, looking at the numbers here now. On average, you spun the U505 300 RPM more, which I think we would expect based on loft, based on the construction. Um, carry distance was pretty similar though across the board. 242.9 with the U505, 241.3 with the P790. Okay. So, and then total distance was 259.6 to 261.3. So they're pretty comparable there in terms of the distance. The one thing I was definitely curious was definitely the height. Yeah. I mentioned that earlier. I yeah. feel like P790 was flying just a little lower, but it mm -hmm. wasn't really that much lower. No, I mean, it was, well, 15 feet lower. Okay, so, so it was. So, so it was, it's notable it's, for sure. It's noticeable, yeah. Um, so 95 feet, the P790, and then 110 with the U505. So, okay, I mean, that's. And that's, I know that's about the window you're looking for. Uh, yeah. But the 95 gets starting to, you're kind of noticing, you know, if, if someone is hitting like, you know, a four utility iron, Kind of dropping it below 100 feet, maybe to down to 70, 60 feet. Then that's kind of when you're thinking about maybe changing that to hybrid or high lots of ferry. Right. Ones. Yeah, we look at that that landing angle. I don't know what the landing angle averages were there, but if it starts getting below, like say 40, mm -hmm. especially yeah, in it's the long 39 clubs, for your your P790. Yeah, there, it's so. gonna play as more of a, a chaser. Well, if it starts, you know, if it's over 40 with your long clubs, it's gonna come in a little higher and it's gonna just stop yeah, just yeah. a little quicker. Yeah, so it's 42.9 at the U505 and 39 flat with yep. the P790. So there is a difference there. And, you know, the U505, if you're going for a green, it would land a little softer and, and maintain right. itself on the green a little bit better than the P790 would. I feel like I'd have a better chance off the turf with the U505 yeah. mm -hmm. as well. Um, P790 just being a little smaller and just 17 degrees off. Yeah, it's yeah. not much loft. Right. And then it's, the other thing, too, I want to touch on was curvature. It seemed like your draw was working a little bit more uh, noticeably with the P790. I think that's just because the club is a little bit thinner and also a little bit, you know, one degree uh, lower in loft, kind of, you know, exaggerates that curve a little bit. You had 32 feet of curve on average to the left with the P790 and okay. only six with the U505. So. Got it. So, yeah, this, this flew pretty straight while this had just a little bit more of a, a draw to it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, a lot of these findings are kind of what we expected, really. I mean, it's a good test. Your club speed is off, was uh, different by just 0 0.4 miles per hour. So, you're right around 100 miles per hour with both of them. Ball speed was 147 with both of them. So, uh, after that, it's just the way the club, uh, you know, Launch the ball into the into the air. Yep. It was a little bit different with both of them. Yeah. So I guess the the key takeaway here is if you're looking at any of these newer uh, driving irons that have come out by Titleist or, or TaylorMade, uh, keep in mind there are other options too. So as I yeah, mentioned, yeah. Titleist we do have. You could you could definitely try the T200. That they go down to a two iron now with yeah. that. And then also remember with, with TaylorMade you do have uh, like the the Sim mm -hmm. UDI or DH, DHY yep. as well as other options that may be a little larger profile than the yeah. P790 as well. Yeah. But we just wanted to take but, a look at the 2021 models here and um, you know, I think there's a lot of explosiveness there and then like you said depends on what the golfer is looking for. If you right. want that lower flight, a little bit more workable, P790 is probably the play where something a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more uh, launch to it. U505 is going to be the, the winner there. So again, all depends on what you need, and that's why coming into a second swing for a fitting is the best way to get dialed in for utility iron. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. A little higher with the U505, 
a little lower, a little chasing out, a little less spin with mm -hmm. the P790. And that's what I was expecting to see with this, with this test today, and I'm glad the, the data with TrackMan can validate that. Absolutely. TrackMan uh, was here for us today. That was uh, great to see all the numbers. Thomas, thanks for hitting all the shots today. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and then uh, make sure you stop in to a Second Swing store or visit secondswing.com to get your either U505 or P790 utility iron. Uh, thank you again for watching.